though it may be hard to see any similarity at all between these things and the hot rods of California, it's true that hot rodding and street racing spawned a billion dollar high performance industry and the most spectacular form of motorsport in the world, drag racing. This is a high performance arena where thousands of horsepower are unleashed in fractions of a second. Where cars and motorcycles accelerate from standing starts to 200 miles an hour and above in five or six seconds. When the hot rodders were forced off the streets, they went to the dried up lake beds of California and began organizing themselves. And they began drag racing properly, measured quarter miles, standing starts, sophisticated timing equipment. And they progressed until now, the very top of the tree, top fuel, can unleash 5,000 horsepower and lift a top fuel dragster to 290 miles an hour in 4.8 seconds. Of course it's not all 5,000 horsepower and 200 miles an hour. This is sportsman drag racing. Door slammer as it's known and it's back to grassroots and you can see the origins of the sport here. Exactly the sort of cars which you'd expect to see competing in a traffic like Grand Prix and some of them still do. Many of these cars are driven to the racetrack and driven home again. They have the exhaust taken off, they have slick racing tyres fitted to the back wheels and away they go. The trusty Ford Pop, long the mainstay of British hot rolling and customising, and also for many years the backbone of this class of drag racing. And the Jaguar straight six engine, a regular performance favourite, year after year, and incredibly producing more power year after year as well.